and welcome. For people who did not know, we are finally now in Dubai in terms of our office is set up, our operations is set up, and, and basically this whole trip had to do with setting up that whole office. There are plenty of things I wanted to talk to you about. First one is obviously what's happening with the Express Entry. Nothing good is happening with Express Entry at this point of time uh, because uh, the draws are just not happening the way they should be happening. So what I have for you today is a set of data points, the set of data points which will give you a bit of a glimpse because what is happening is a lot of people, of course, on social media uh, are, are talking so many different things in terms of what kind of draws are happening. How many invitations will be issued? Will the scores go below 500 or not? Or will it stay for the rest of the year at 520 or whatever that might be? Uh, so I will just talk to you about the data points, especially from 2023, because that's where the category based draws have started so that you have a glimpse of what's going on. So this was the last express entry draw, which has happened on the 29th of February. 2,500 invitations were issued. Uh, this was the French language proficiency category. So francophone category, right? If you have CLB7, NCLC7, uh, and then you would be eligible in this in this category. 336 was the draw, which is to be very honest, pretty decently low. But look at the pool breakdown, right? And most people are worried about this number. There are 9,567 candidates above 501. Of course, these 601s get cleared out. These are 1,000 there at this point of time. Of course, the next Express Entry draw will clear these guys out. I'm not particularly worried about them. I, I expect a, a draw to happen on the 12th or 13th of March. If it happens on 12th of March, then we probably will see more category draws. If it happens on 13th of March, it probably will be a general category draw. So 965 is not a concern. 501 to 600, you have 9,567 candidates who are sitting in the Express Entry pool. Now, this, in my opinion, I would say is going to get cleared. My, I believe, I absolutely believe. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that it is stuck. It is going to be remaining at about 500, more than 520. It will not come down, blah, 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 blah. Um, with all due respects to everybody who has a different opinion and view, there has to be a basis, right? Uh, I understand that IRCC for the first two months of this year, that is Jan and Feb, they have only conducted these draws, which are pretty much 1,470, which brought a score to 534. Then there was 1,490, which brought the score to 535. Then there was 730, 541, 1,040, 543, and 1,510. So they have pretty much conducted the draws in the 1,500 and less range, which I would call as actually a PNP program, PNP specific draws, because they're pretty much only clearing those people who have received a nomination. Uh, doesn't really help us a lot in the regular express entry draws because most people would want to see the draws, you know, at least of 3,000, 4,000, hopefully even 5,000 kind of a number, which IRCC was pretty actively drawing until last year, 2023, not too far away. Now, let's, let's take some numbers into play. I don't have a slide. I apologize for that. In 2023, the number of invitations, the total express entry invitations issued were 110266. Okay. So that's the number of invitations issued. Total 2023 number of ITAs 110266. Now the quotas or, or the targets were about 465 to 485,000. They finally achieved that target. So in spite of that target of 400 and less than half a million, in number of invitations that were issued were 110,266. Now, mind you, this number, 110,266, is the second highest in the history of Express Entry. Now, history of Express Entry dates back to 2015, uh, January 1. That's when Express Entry was launched. You also will obviously remember that the category-based draws have been announced only last year. So only six, eight months back now. And they were launched. The first draw conducted was on the 28th of June when they invited 500 candidates under the healthcare draw. The draw number was 252. Okay. 500 invitations were issued. Score was 476. Now, the, 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 the draw before that, if you see, the draw number 251 was a no all program draw, right? Number of invitations were issued 4,300. Score was 486. The, 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 the draw before that, 4,800 invitations issued. Score was 486. Draw before that, 4,800 invitations issued, score was 488. Now, even then, if you see these three draws just before the, the, the category-based draw started, scores were pretty pretty much you know stuck at 488s, 488, 486, 486. So that basically told you that even after IRCC was issuing so many invitations, right, 4,800, almost 5,000, the scores were not really dropping, right? The scores were staying same. 
uh, even after two weeks, after gaps of two weeks that the scores, that the draws were happening. Why? Uh, there was a big influx of people who were coming into the pool with high express entry scores in the sense like they were completing their masters, high IELTS, one year of work experience outside Canada, in Canada, one year of work experience. All these guys can very easily score 500 plus. And add to that if they have francophone scores, add to that if they have an LMIA, whether it's for 50 points, whether it's for 200 points, all of these factors in combination were seeing this number. Please also do not forget March of last year, IRCC did invite draw number 243, draw number 244, draw number 245. They issued 21,000 invitations in a span of just two weeks. In 14 days, 21,000 invitations were issued. The score dropped from the previous 791. It dropped down to 484 and then to 481. 490, 484 and then 481. And you can imagine the reason why IRCC chose to conduct these big uh, number of draws as in 21,000 invitations was because there was this big chunk of people who had gathered. There were approximately 20 to 25, I think 24,000 people with a score of 481 plus, you know, in, in the express entry pool, which was a largely a worrying number. There was a lot of advocacy from the members of parliaments, from the political groups as well, who are supporting immigration as to why these draws were, you know, why, why the scores were so high. And the reason why the scores were so high is because the previous year, which is 2022, so you have to understand the history. You have to understand all these data points to get a good perspective. So I'm, that's the reason. Bear with me. Before earlier, uh, in the end of 2022, in November, they had changed the NOC system from the NOC 2016 to NOC 2021, right? The, the NOC became from four digits, became five digits. And then obviously the way IRCC systems are, the systems crashed uh, and the draws stopped. So there was no draw towards the end of November. There was no draw towards December, January. There were some draws. So they did two draws, big numbers, 5,500 each, about 11,000 invitations were issued. Uh, yeah, these ones. But obviously the scores were too high because the numbers were too high. And therefore they conducted these three draws of 7,000 each, which basically tells you that it is within the IRCC's scope. It is within their purview to increase the number of invitations whenever they are, whether it's the political agenda or whatever that might be, whenever they are asked to, to, to make those changes, then they it is within their scope. It is within their purview to issue these large draws so that the scores can brought we brought into some sort of normalcy so 481 was the lowest that saw uh, last year and, and therefore we we had that, that that draw and this year unfortunately obviously it's not like that now further what happened is and also what you need to keep in mind is this particular date june 28 2023 when that's when the category based draws started now just to give you a bit of perspective about these factors and these numbers is 110,266 invitations issued in 2023 sir okay you have that then total number of invitations that were issued to all program draws all program draws so including pnps CECs, FSWs, FSTCs, federal skip trade categories all program draws the total number of invitations that were issued were Hold your horses, 76,700. So this was the number that was issued, that, that were the invitations issued. Now they were, throughout the year, there were five PNP specific draws. Five PNP specific draws invited 4,396 candidates, okay? And then there was this one odd, very odd, right? Which, which actually got everybody by surprise. Uh, which draw was it? Yes, this one, this particular draw. On the 2nd of February, 2023, draw number 240, they chose to invite only federal skilled workers. They have never done that. I, I do not know why it happened. I do not know how that happened. Was it a technical glitch? Was it somebody who, who pressed the wrong button somewhere? They invited 3,300 people with a score of 489, only federal skilled workers. FSW program specific draw, the only time that has happened. So now you have 76,700 invitations which were issued throughout the year. Uh, for all program draws, you have 4,396 invitations that were issued to PNP specific draws. Then you had 3,300, which was issued to the federal skilled worker program only. Do you know how many were actually issued to the categories throughout the year last year? Only 25,870. The total number of category based draws, ITAs, issued last year, 2023, because that's when it started, was 25,870. That's it. That was the total number of invitations issued. Now, you will say, but of course, 
uh, category based draws only started in June, which is true. June 28, there is this, of course. June 28 is when the uh, category based draws started. Do you know from January to June, when the category based draws had not started, the number of all program PNPs, federal skilled workup draws, the total number of invitations issued were 59,048. So that basically meant from June to December. And when I'm saying June, it was already, if you can see, 252 was already end of June. All right. So from June to December, the total number of invitations that IRCC issued were 51,218. Okay. And out of this 51,218, the number of invitations that were issued to the category based draws, again, as I'm saying, is 25,870, which then tells you that the number of invitations issued to all program draws after the category based draws had started was 25,348. Now, the reason why I'm stressing upon these numbers, 25,870 from June to December, 25,348 were the all program draws and it started from June to December. And the reason why these numbers are so important is because it tells you that they shared almost 50-50 of the number of invitations after the category based draws had started. And because we do not have any other data point, there is no historical data to take into consideration there are no trends to take into consideration. So the only data you can refer to are the six months of uh, 2023 when the actual category based draws have happened. Now, obviously, you want to know how many draws were issued or how many ITAs were issued to different categories. French or Francophone category specific draws, the number of ITAs issued were the highest, which was 8,700. Healthcare got 5,600. STEM category, surprisingly, got only 6,400. One draw was in, first one was in July. Only 500 invitations were issued, which caught everybody by surprise. And then the next draw happened in December. 5,900 invitations were issued. Score was 481. Skilled trades, they invited only 2,500 people. Uh, transport, 1,670. Agriculture, only 1,000 candidates. But again, uh, agriculture and transport had a very small number of uh, uh, invitations because the number of NOC codes were also quite less. In agriculture, you only have three. In transport, you had about eight or ten. That basically meant less number of candidates, less number of invitations. But other than that, skill trade also had only 2,500. STEM did have 6,400. Health had 5,600. French had 8,700. So if you take these numbers and just pretty much double these up, that is on an average what you can expect for this year. Again, uh, I'm only saying it on the basis of the last six months of data for the category based draws that is available to us now from uh, 2023. Anything other than that, we do not have any data to base any kind of analysis on. So what this means for people who are wondering what the hell am I going on and on and on and about that in my opinion and only opinion, I expect that IRCC is going to split the number of category draws and the regular general express entry draws, which is all program, including the PNPs, almost 50-50. If not 50-50, then probably 55-45. 45% in the favor of all program draws, 55 in the favor of category based draws. And that is pretty much how it goes. And if last year they chose to invite 110,266 invitations, then I'm hoping and, and expecting that they would pretty much stick to the similar number, if not more this year as well. So if you expect, because this year also, the number of federal high skilled categories target for the express entry for 2024 has also gone up. It's about 110,000 now. So keeping that in mind, the number of invitations I expect to be in the similar range of last year, about 110,000, which says that about 50,000 invitations will go to uh, the all program draws and about 55 to 60,000 will go to category based draws or they could even be split half and half. Now, with that, with about 50,000 invitations being issued with the regular express entry draws, so far only five to 6,000 people have been invited in the all program draws and only two months have passed. So you still have 10 months to look at and you still have, you have roughly 45,000 invitations to expect. With 10 months to go, 45,000 invitations, even if they start conducting three to 4,000 invitations or three to 3,000, 4,000 kind of, you know, they can always vary. 
they can do a couple of 4,000 kind of draws or 5,000 kind of draws, then bring it back to 3,000, again, increase it to 4,000, bring it back to 2,000. All those variations are possible because that's what they've been doing in the past. Whenever they choose to do that, and again, I've just shown you historical evidence. They have done that in the past. Last year, January, they conducted two draws, 5,500, 5,500. In March, they conducted three draws of 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. All of them were done deliberately to bring the scores down. It doesn't stop them from doing it again. Uh, obviously, we now have a new immigration minister who is pretty much more under pressure for a lot of things right now. But if the right kind of uh, advocacy is done, I have absolutely no doubt, at least I believe it, that the scores should clear definitely 500 should, should clear. And from there on, if you actually see uh, 490s is only 7,574. If you calculate 7,574 and 9,567, this is roughly 17,000, 18,000 profiles. If IRCC could invite 21,000 people in two weeks, then this is just about clearing 17,000. Is it possible? Is it not possible? You you make that call. You make that decision. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty hopeful that 500s definitely should clear out. Once the 500 clears out and from there on, they keep conducting these kind of draws with the intention of issuing roughly 50,000 invitations only for all program draws in the year 2024. It's my belief that 500s definitely gets cleared out. We definitely can see 490s happening within this year itself. Uh, so this is for all that opinions that you've seen on Instagram, on Reels, on TikTok, where it has said that the scores will remain only at 500 plus. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we will do this again, of course, next week. Uh, until that time, please do share, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.